So in emphasizing the psoas, this is one of the most important muscles that picks up our legs, right? It's also the thing that helps us kind of tilt and rock our pelvis, and it balances the QL in the back. And there's a couple different poses that we do that really emphasizes the psoas, and I'm going to review those for you. These are, of course, the most advanced poses, because if you're going to learn how to do the flips and the tricks, it really is your core and your psoas and your QL and all these deeper muscles around the spine that are going to allow you to do that with ease. And if you don't have that activated, it's not going to go well, right? Which we've seen. We've seen not only in our own practice, but when we're working with people, when people cannot get up into some poses, or not, they're not able to do some of the, the, we'll just call them tricks, the stars, right? The stars of the show. So I'm going to come into, I'm going to get right into my wide straddle handstand for you guys. And go over this pose one more time. And so what happens in this pose is not only do I keep my hands strong and straight, stacked right underneath my shoulders, I'm not arching in my upper back. I'm not tucking in in my upper back. I'm arching, looking forward, and I'm isolating my lower body. That's the psoas. Okay? So most people's feet are way too heavy, way too flying away, <laughs> and they need to make them heavy. And when you're pulling down like that and pulling up, it's the same thing when we did a roundhouse slip. That's how we engage. Mm -hmm. Then from there, once we have the engagement, we can add the ollie twists and the play. Okay? So unless we have that really strong engagement, this is like, it basically becomes like an ollie oop. We do that. People lose their set. Okay? So strong engagement, touch then you can add all that fun stuff. So I'm going to also come up into Superfly and show you how we use our psoas here. So once we're in our backpack, you have to tuck through your core in order to get into your push-up. Okay? If you don't have that tuck, it's also impossible. The legs are really heavy and extended down. As soon as your feet go towards the sky, you lose your tuck. The feet pulling down is the tuck, okay? So you don't want to tuck so much that you lose the arch in the upper back, so those two parts of the body have to be communicating and activated in a new way. I keep the arch in the upper body as well as tucking. So we're gonna play with that for a few rounds. We're gonna find our tuck. We're gonna find our lift, but it's not about just coming up into super fly, and then of course we want to learn how to bank, which is also another engagement through the core. So it's like my hips are pressing down into an invisible floor as I'm fully suspended. That's how we get the control. I'm just going to come right out and reverse it, but we can do that the way we learned as well. So let's get in the swing and slowly go through our wide straddle handstands and try all these one more time. With the emphasis on the psoas, I want you to really feel your psoas. It's coming through our floating Buddha. Let's just see if we can cue ourselves now that we've done the intermediate training. Ladle. Peaceful warrior. Take your time and go slower if you need to. Just Saying the poses out loud. Happy Buddha. Archer. Handstand. Once we come into handstand, wide straddle. As soon as we get into our wide straddle handstand, we have to start playing with the legs. Pulling them down and pulling our core in towards the spine as we lift our hips towards the sky. Can you feel your psoas now? Can you feel the importance in this pose compared to how we just did it for the first time on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Way different. Way different engagement, way different activation, a lot more awareness and control. Let's plant our right hand down in center and find the twist. Let's just pick up the psoas towards the sky, pull it in and up 
as you reach for your toes and see if there's more control. So pull your foot towards your hand more instead of your hand reaching towards your foot. You stack your shoulders one on top of another. So you don't want to pull yourself off center. You actually want to pull your foot in towards your hand. Just like you bring your knee to your elbow and not your elbow to your knee, you bring your foot towards your hand. Does that make sense? Hello? <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> Trying to concentrate. <laughs> So it makes your pelvis has to rock to the side to bring your foot to your hand. And you pull up through your core at the same time. Pull up. That's it. It's, it you have to actually engage way more than you think. <laughs> yes. Way more. Yeah. That's it. You got it. That's it. Really oh. good, guys. All right. Well, yeah. Don't get tired yet. We're only halfway there. <laughs> okay. okay. Reach up and grab for the leg loops. Let's come back into Archer. Okay. Archer, from Archer, backpack. Squeeze the leg loops onto the shoulders. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So we're hanging out in our skydiver, waiting for each other. So tuck through the pelvis. Tuck through the psoas to grab for your backpack. Extend your legs at the same time that you press up. It's through the legs, yes. That was so good, guys, I felt that. Okay, now from, to bang from side to side, I want you to get and keep that control. Just see, just play with it, just try it. What is it like to fly in this position? Yeah, yep. really cool. You have to say, everybody's looking down. Okay. I'm looking up, I need looking down. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> Important to keep the gaze up, the chest lifted. Now we're gonna do our toe touches, okay? So super fly, tongue touch. Okay. Yeah, I know, okay. Super fly, tongue touch. Yeah, hello, Soaz. Super fly, <laughs> tongue touch. Really hard. Yeah. You'll still be able to have babies after this. Tongue touch. All right, good. Back to it. See, sky is now relaxation pose. Let's feel all that activation through the core. Reverse it nice and slow. Archer. All right. Wrist strap. Remember, we use our core here. Bring your leg loops on the inside for wide straddle legs. Crunch, balance, scissor kick down with control. Keep the hips heavy. Keep dropping the hips to come down. Yes. Way better, guys. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. It's pretty amazing when we start moving from our core activating that power, it becomes effortless. And no way when we first did Superfly could we ever imagine it being effortless. <laughs> so it's really cool when you start to get that lift and that power of the body. Really good job. Yay. Yes, I remember my 